Okay, hi guys, and welcome to my latest video, how to make your wheel feel real, part two, simulation steering. I'm very excited about this video. I have stumbled across something while trying to find the most realistic settings uh, for simulation steering. And what I've found is so beautifully simple that this will probably negate all videos about wheel settings out there including my own this is beautiful I, I love it okay so in order to be able to show you what it is i have discovered we need to head over to the wheel settings uh, menu in the forza horizon 4 demo so fast forward Okay, so here we are in the uh, Forza Horizon 4 menu. And so we head over to the settings. We go to the control settings and then hit X and go to the advanced controls. Now these aren't the settings that I use because these reset to the default every single time you uh, turn the game on. However, the description is the bit that I'm interested in. Uh, for those of you who are using um, a wheel during Forza Motorsport 7, the description never sort of gave you all of the information. If the description went over a certain amount of characters, you'd just be left with three dots and you had to just guess what the rest of it is. Going over to Forza Horizon 4, the settings are exactly the same. They do exactly the same thing, but we can, we can read all of the description. The one that we pay attention to initially because of one specific word, steering linearity. Uh, when you adjust the steering linearity, if you, uh, it says quite clearly, lower values provide more accuracy near the centre but less accuracy near full lock and then higher values blah 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 the other way around. 50 is linear. 50 means that no matter how much you turn the wheel, the ratio that you turn the wheel by never changes irrespective of its position. It's a much more realistic um, fe feeling because it's linear. So, what else can we make linear to make it feel more realistic I hear you cry which is what I was thinking so we start going down to see what they all are now then reading the full description let me just go force feedback minimum force this is is this the one um, larger values provide a more linear tire response more linear huh, okay let's do that then so more linear we go as high as we can. I stuck it up to 100. The wheel rotation angle I left at 900. Force feedback understeer I left in the middle so that understeer and oversteer are noticed in a similar kind of way. Damper scale I turned off completely. Center spring scale I turned off completely. Force feedback scale I left exactly where it was. Vibration I turned off completely. And uh, the dead zones were just 0, 100 on the handbrake or emergency brake. Um, my clutch I think I had at 80, 15 and 80. The brake I know I've got set to 18 and 88. They work, those figures work really well if you're using a G920 wheel with the rubber stop installed. And then everything else should be on 0 and 100. And again, steering linearity should be on 50. So this makes perfect sense for a realistic linear feel to everything. These are the settings that I'm currently using, okay? Vibration I have turned off because I don't believe there should be any more vibration than necessary. If you're gonna feel any vibrations coming from the road, you'll feel that through the force feedback because that, as it says, the larger the value, the more aligned torque you will sense. Well, the aligned torque is exactly what's like coming on, so it's gonna wobble anyway. Um, center spring should be off, that's ridiculous, it should never be on at all. Anyway, wheel damper scale I've also left turned off and wheel rotation angle we've left at 900 because hey, what the hell. So these are the figures, let's put them back into Forza Motorsport 7. Okay, I transferred the figures over, I put them into this. And honestly, Forza Motorsport 7 has never felt so good. It feels better than with normal steering. And I used to hate simulation steering. So, my new wheel settings. 0-100, 0-100. 
1880, 1580, 0 100 on the handbrake, vibration scale was 0, feedback was smack in the middle at 50, wheel rotation on 900, steering linearity at 50, force feedback understeering on Horizon 4 I had that set at 50, I've got it set at 102, but why? So on Forza Horizon 4 the uh, range for force feedback understeer goes from uh, I think 0, I think it goes all the way down to 0, um, to 100. This goes from 5 to 200, that's right, 102.5, should be smack in the middle, um, I picked one, it's either going to be 103 if you round up or 102 if you don't. Force feedback, minimum force, still at 100, thanks, we've left it at 100 because it felt so bloody good in the last one. Um, wheel damper scale, honestly, it doesn't need to be on, and neither does the centre spring, turn those off. These are the settings to use. These are the settings you need to use. Forget every video you've watched, including mine, up to this point. These settings, they're great. Absolutely great. There we go. So, just as this music is bringing us into the end, I'll just slowly scroll down these. Um, it's been a pleasure once again. Please like, please subscribe. And if you think anyone will benefit from it, feel free to, uh, to share the video as well. That'd be great. All right, guys, thanks very much. Until next time, see you later. Goodbye.